Hello there, welcome to SRP's Video Games and DVD Store. As you can see, we've got a vast array of titles from the movie world. But today I'm going to be focusing on the video games. I want to show you a little bit from the collection that we have today. And then I want to make four specific recommendations of my favourite games and then show you a little bit of footage from those games. So over here we have some Xbox One titles. We have a few Lego games there. They're very enjoyable, fun and long games, good for two players. So we have things like Marvel, Hobbit and DC Villains from the classic Borderlands range we have two titles there and up here we have a collection of Tomb Raider games some rare replays, Assassin's Creed and obviously Final Fantasy because that's one of my favourite franchise games we have some PlayStation titles there some PS2 titles here, Xbox 360s there, and then four games from the classic Nintendo 64 from the 90s. So let's have a little look at the recommendations that I'm going to make for you. Okay. We'll go with the best one first, in my opinion. We have GoldenEye 007, the 1997 first-person shooter, developed by Rare, and it's based on the 1995 James Bond film, GoldenEye. So that's what the cartridge looks like. And we slot that into the N64 and we're good to go. That was a groundbreaking trailblazing game, in my opinion. And there's lots of fun to be had on the multiplayer setting. So we're going to be recommending GoldenEye. Now the second game we're going to select comes from the PlayStation and we have the classic Final Fantasy 7 there again from 1997 a good year for games we have the role-playing game developed by Square for the PlayStation the story follows the primary protagonist Cloud Strife who joins the eco-terrorist group Avalanche to prevent Shinra from destroying the planet and the events send Cloud and the party in pursuit of the primary antagonist Sephiroth. Now those who've played the game know just how good it is. There's a vast array of weapons and accessories to collect and you strengthen your characters through enemy battles and you further enhance your characters by collecting and equipping materia so just looking inside it's made up of three discs so it's an epic game lots of fun to be had our instruction manual here. It talks about all the characters from Cloud to Ares, Tifa, Barrett, Red 13, Sid Highwind, Sephiroth, Yuffie, Vincent Valentine and Kate Sith. So field controls, all instructions are there 
Excellent. I want to direct my attention to the Xbox One and select one of my favourite titles. It comes from the Tomb Raider franchise, the 2015 title, Rise of the Tomb Raider there. Okay, it's an action adventure game. It follows the story of Lara Croft who ventures to Siberia looking for the city of Katesh at the same time battling the Trinity organization. Look inside. That is the disc. Missing instruction booklet. Not to worry as long as the disc's in there. This is an 80, and as with all Tomb Raider games, Lara traverses the environment, doing battle with Trinity and various animals. There's lots of weapons to collect and modify. You'll find plenty of challenge tombs and materials to scavenge. That's my third recommendation. Now we're going to go back to the N64 titles here and my fourth and final selection is a toss up between Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie but I've gone with Mario 64 the iconic game from 1997 it was iconic because it introduced Mario to the 3D world. In the story, the primary antagonist, Bowser, invades Princess Peach's castle and hides power stars in different worlds. Mario enters these worlds via paintings and proceeds to collect enough stars to access Bowser and rescue Princess. So, those are my four recommendations. Let me bring you some gaming footage just to show you how brilliant those titles are. All right, all, welcome to the classic GoldenEye 007. These are all the missions. We have three difficulty settings, Agent to 00 Agent. Okay, now, fair warning, you're going to experience Plenty of rage tackling the double O agent difficulty setting, particularly when it comes to cradle, train and jungle. But nevertheless, let's show you a little bit of footage from the 1997 classic. Sometimes we have a little message here from Q and Money Penny. You'll also appreciate the subtle clicks from the N64 controller. So we start off on Dam, first person shooter, Piers Brosnan. We begin with a silenced weapon. And we can collect various weapons as we progress through the game. Okay, a little bit rusty. Been a few years. So there we go. Let's get the assault rifle. There we go. So that's a little bit of footage from Dan. Graphics are not too bad for this trailblazing game from the 90s. Let's show you a little bit of footage from one of the more difficult levels. We have Jungle. Now in Jungle we have to eliminate Xenia on the top. 
some background information, M briefing, Q and money penny there. So because Senia on the top, kills after mating, she has to go on this level, she has to be eliminated. Start off with Bond and Natalia. Bad guys are hard to find due to their camouflaged attire. There we go. Pick up the assault rifle. Scalp out the area. And just be vigilant for the drones. These particular areas. Bad guy is lurking in my little spots. Where are you? Take it slow and steady as you tackle the more difficult levels. There we go. Two for one. Sometimes Natalia will help you out with her pistol. And there is the drone in question. Okay, so that's a little bit from Jungle. Let's abort the mission. Show you a little bit of gaming footage from my favourite level. One of my favourites, which is Cavern. A bond starts off in a lift. License to kill, so that means we can give these suckers pop, pop, pop. All we've got, like so. Stay vigilant, do not turn your back. Okay, and we proceed through the cavern. suckers all you've got there we go this means we can switch to the assault rifle with zoom there we go two bad guys lurking there Need to brush up on my skills a little bit. But nevertheless, a fabulous game. Trailblazing game in my opinion. Also a lot of also a lot of fun to be had on the multiplayer setting. Okay, so that's Golden Idol R7. Please enjoy. And let me know how you get on with the game. Right, let me bring you some footage of the fabulous Mario 64. Okay. There are various tasks to undertake and stars to collect on each level thus allowing us to unlock further levels and challenge the antagonist Bowser so I'll just show you a little bit of footage here it's been a few years since I've had a little go of Mario 64 obviously it is one for the ages be very careful on these levels. There we go. I think we're on the home straight. Oh, just about. So we would have acquired a star for doing that. Okay, so if you're a huge Mario fan, this really brought Mario 
into the 3D gaming sphere. That was the star we collected, front attacking that particular tower. There we go. So let's show you just a little bit more of this fabulous game. So let's continue. Nice clicking sounds from the classic N64 controller. A little look. What do you have behind this door here? Okay, so you went to each level by jumping through the picture. This is Womp's Fortress. Show you a little bit more. I'm sure you have lots of fun playing this game. Brings back a lot of memories. There we go. So we make our way to various areas on the level. Perform various tasks. Collect coins and stars. There we go. Not too bad, considering it's been a few years. This was one of the challenges here, discarding of this ugly creature. If I can remember her, there we go. And you use the C controls to pan around Mario, like so. And we make our way to the summit. Ah yes, this was one of the mini bosses in the game. See if we can give him a good whooping. And we stomp on his back. Wait for him to commit himself. And then we counter with a good whooping like so. There we go. And we acquire these stars. Like so. Okay, so that's Mario 64. You'll have hours of fun unlocking the levels and collecting the stars. Okay, so here we are in Siberian Wilderness on the Xbox One, Rise of the Tomb Raider. As you can see, it's very scenic. Beautiful graphics, nice smooth movement of Lara, range of weapons, so we have the bow and arrows with the explosive arrows, poison, fire, assault rifle, shotgun and hand pistol. So let's see if we can find some enemies, show you a little bit of footage from the game. and resources we can collect to craft arrows okay so Halara has gone into stealth mode that means we have some enemies lurking somewhere around here Look, there they are. Let's see if we can deal with these guys. Right, Flex 
some weapons there. And I think we can shoot this guy here. And let's make a little dash for it. See if we can draw them out. Shotgun, sorry, the pistol and shotgun there. Oops, we're doing too well here, are we? There we go. So we've upgraded there, we're going to skill points. Let's just collect the resources from the bad guys just want to see if we can make our way up here and show you one of the creatures from the game there we go I'd like to switch to the poison arrows be very careful of the big furry fellow we'll lurk around here and see if he's about. Right, so there's one from previously. Go right into the cave. It looks as though we have. I have a big furry friend there. So this is one of the bears. I'll we'll send a grenade in there. And give him some treatment there. I'll switch to the poison arrow there. And we've dealt with the bear. Let's wait for the poison to subside. And then we can collect the resources, the hide, from the bear there. Okay, so that's a little snippet of the Rise of the Tomb Raider. As you can see the visuals are beautiful. Nice, smooth gameplay range of weapons challenge tombs to explore and beautiful detail on the walls there you can see the ice really beautiful okay thanks for watching